the channel. Hope you guys are having an excellent day. Let's get to the videos. I'm basically being ran like Britney Spears. Do you understand? I'm being controlled. I am not in control anymore. I am being controlled. I'm a puppet and I'm living a puppet. So now I'm on my own and I have to be, I mean, I'm out and I'm being controlled. I'm being literally on puppet strings. So basically I'm getting told like a dog to do X, Y, and Z. Hold on, bro. So let me get this correct. Y'all trying to tell me that these reptilian skin suit wearing aliens don't exist. So I'm going to stick on this for a little while. Video after video after video of these damn things. And you explain it to me since you know it all. When it comes to the reptilians, I noticed that we're seeing more and more of it nowadays, which I think is very fascinating. Now they start to call it, it's, it's something else is being called now too. It's like a, the demonic syndrome. It, I looked it up recently, what it's called when you see certain things in somebody's face, but it's not actually there, or maybe they're actually all rep, reptilians and they so good at shape-shifting. Somebody come look at this. They done arrested this Haitian gentleman talking about this P. Diddy. They got this Haitian man apprehended. This is John Pierre. This ain't no damn P. Diddy. This is what the diddler looks like. This look like that dude, baby alien. Okay, let's make a let's make a quick comparison, shall we? Look at the moles that he got right here. Look at them. You see the moles? Now look at Jean Pierre. This is not the diddler. I mean, come on now. This is Roger from American Dad. They got in custody with a motherfucking toupee on. This ain't the real P. Diddy. He got eczema on his neck and shit. This is not. Let this Dominican man go. This is a Haitian man. This is not no damn P. Diddy. You know, when it comes when it comes to the whole P. Diddy thing, I will admit the picture the guy just shown of the, uh, I guess he said it was a Haitian person. That dude not look like Pity. I mean, P. Diddy at all. It looks nothing like P. Diddy. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. You guys think that's uh, just a clone? To set him up for something or maybe uh, they're trying to distract us from something. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me give you guys a breakdown of what really happens in these cloning centers. I'm making this video once and only once. What they do is they extract the consciousness out of the human vessel. They will put the human vessel on a different island that you won't find. They will erase the memories and replace them with new memories. Kind of like that movie with Ana de Armas and... Who is that other guy? Ryan Gosling? Comment that movie. I don't I don't remember the name of that movie. So yeah, they'll replace the memories of the clone and they will put different memories or no memories at all. They can always give you your memories back, but they usually don't. Now remember, the consciousness of the actual person is in the clone. However, their mind is distorted because they are replacing memories. And these people are also programmed. Now, what she's saying is very fascinating. I think we all can agree with that. But I haven't seen any evidence of it at all. I hate to be that person when it comes to react to this video. But the way she said everything made it sound like it was like an absolute fact. It would be nice if one day, if what she's saying is true, that someone can get evidence and actually expose it. But who knows? All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Chick-fil-A was just busted for dangerously high amounts of prescription drugs in their sandwich. And look at all these freaking ingredients. Do you, you, you Surely those of you following me are smart enough to know that this is not real food. This is a bunch of complete shit. It's chemicals. It's all kinds of really, really dangerous ingredients that make up this freaking chicken sandwich. And you know why they do it? Because it's cheap and they save money and they put all these harmful ingredients in the food to preserve it and keep it longer because they want your money. Guys, stop eating fast food. I beg you, stop eating fast food. And for the love of God, please check out the link in my bio. If you want to take your health back, I have all kinds of programs up there that will change your life. Take the step to make a difference in your health right now. And I dare you to get up there in that link in the bio and grab my new program. It's the first one that's there. I promise it'll change your life. It looks like from Chick-fil-A image, the guy that showed the video, it looks about 50 to 55 ingredients. I actually was sitting there and looking at some of them because I didn't know all that was in the Chick-fil-A sandwich, but I'm not really surprised considering, you know, it's fast food. To my knowledge, some of those ingredients like MSG, 
isn't harmful to you at all. A lot of Asian countries use them. I always thought it was harmful until I went to a different country in Asia and I was completely false about it. I don't know why people think that it's unhealthy for you. MSG is literally a food enhancer to make food taste better. The Cheetos that you eat have MSG in them. That's why they're so addictive. And that's why that sandwich is so addictive. When it comes to the other ingredients that I saw on there, the sodium aluminum phosphate, that is just a, a chemical bakers use to make, uh, I'm not mistaken, to make like things like food rise. Yes, you could use yeast and things like that too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a baker. It's just, I just know about these chemicals because I've seen them so many times before. I'm not saying they're good for you. I'm just saying that they have a purpose. And the other ingredient was, uh, what was it? Uh, potassium ionide. That's used to strengthen dough, which I'm assuming is for the, um, the breading on the sandwich. I don't know anybody who eating, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know anybody who eating fast food nowadays. Anyway, the crap is very expensive and the quality has gone down since COVID. So there's really no point in eating it. Come on now, anyone looking at this low pixelated video can easily tell that's a mask. And, and let's just say it's not a mask. Let's say that it's completely real. Why didn't he shapeshift back? And also, I think about reptilians, and this is supposed to take place in Chile, and 30 people saw it. Where the people at? Where are the witness at? Everything went downhill after Wendy Williams ate a crow on live TV. For those of you who didn't know, back in 2014, she had made a bet that if Kim and Kanye stayed together long enough or even got engaged, she would eat a crow in which many people noticed that there was a subtle but rapid change in her eyes. Those of you who didn't know, crows are seen as bad omens in various different cultures. And even if you look at it from a biblical standpoint, it clearly mentions in Leviticus that these birds aren't fit to eat, but can also be seen as rebirth, which may explain her timeline. Now, I don't know about y'all, but it is just sad and mind blowing to see Wendy in this position, knowing that a year or two ago she was on the road to recovery. But then again, you guys let me know what you think and if you agree. They tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount. When it comes to uh, Wendy Williams, I think people need to just leave her alone personally. She obviously have mental issues. Not sure where they come from. The lady saying it came from crow. I didn't even know people ate crow. Look like it's like gumbo or something. But yeah, maybe, maybe that was a bad omen for her. But whatever she, I mean, that crow she was eating looked very disgusting. Oh, you're going to like this one. So this whole bridge thing and the collapse, it made me think, wait a minute, wasn't that a scene from the movie that the Obamas produced on Netflix. And yeah, it is. Look, right there. That looks pretty similar, right? So then I'm like, wait a minute. Why are ex-presidents producing movies anyway? So of course I had to ask Alexa. Alexa, how many films has the Obamas produced? This might answer your question. I know about 119 Barack Obama movies, including Leave the World Behind, Before the Flood, Fahrenheit 11 Ninths, and Rusty. Netflix has announced a deal with Barack Obama and Michelle Obama which will see the pair producing films and TV shows for the streaming giant. I just don't trust Netflix. Barack and Michael, I do. They're great. And then I'm asking Alexa just as a joke. Maybe the government has an entire film industry and they're just always been pushing films on us for propaganda purposes only and education and entertainment and blah, blah, blah. I just asked her as a joke. And then it turns out the freaking Pentagon has an entire film company. <laughs> Funded by the Department of Defense. Can't make it up. Alexa, has the Pentagon created Hollywood films? From Ronline.org. It is estimated that the Pentagon has assisted in producing over 500 Hollywood films since the creation of the Department of Defense in 1947. I bet you anything one of them was The Truman Show and The Matrix. Ah! Of course the Pentagon has an entire film company. Why wouldn't they? The whole point of a government when it comes to the propaganda is to control its uh, citizens. 
So it makes sense the Pentagon will have his own film uh, company because they're trying to control us to a certain degree. It's the reason why they don't um, want TikTok up anymore. It's the reason why they was the the one thing they were bipartisan on was TikTok, and it was fast. But stuff that when it comes when it, when the, but things but the things that matter for us everyday citizens. They don't care about. They don't care about giving us better health care, free education, and everything else, even though we are already paying for that stuff anyway through a middleman. They don't care. But when it comes to TikTok, because they can't control the propaganda when it comes with that, of course they're going to try to get rid of it. And that's the reason why they have their own film company. You know, you shouldn't trust Netflix or anything of the sort. I can keep going about about um the reason why they try and get rid of TikTok, but maybe that'll be for another video. But I, I said enough. People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They are in Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to April 8th, plug it in, it will show you that the sun and the moon are in Pisces. They are not aligned. They are sitting beside each other, but they are not aligned. How is that possible? Because the sun and the moon have been out of place since Back in September 2023, I've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be. People are telling me it's the calendar. The calendar's off. Don't worry about it. It's where the sun is in the sky that's different. It's not where it should be. This eclipse is showing you that I am telling you the truth. Because if we see an eclipse on April 8th, how is that possible? If the sun and the moon are in Pisces, it can't be an Aries eclipse, right? If the sun is in Pisces and if the sun and the moon are not aligned, they have to be aligned in order for you to see an eclipse, correct? So I don't have to be a fucking astrophysicist to understand this and neither do you. I'm trying to get this out to as many people as I can. Please share this because, I mean... This is just a no-brainer. These these heavenly bodies are changing. They are not where they should be. And they damn sure will not show you an eclipse in the sky if they are not aligned. Element 115 is a, a super heavy element. We only, only just recently synthesized. We only made four atoms of it. The craft uses larger quantities of it, 223 gram little triangles of it. But it's a unique element. When it's exposed to radiation, it produces its own gravitational field, its own anti-gravitational field. And it's what's used to lift and propel the craft and create distortions around it. It's, a, it's an amazing material. And it's certainly nothing that occurs here or naturally. And it can be weaponized, and that's kind of the issue here. If this story is all true, that can be weaponized. Absolutely. I mean, we ran all kinds of tests on it, everything from atomic absorption, uh, X-ray fluorescence, and, you know, every kind of test you could possibly imagine, and bombarded it with radiation to see what effects it would have. They call that neutron activation, but it was a stable element something we had never seen before. This is not a regular face. They are trying to tell you that demons are walking with us and this is their way of trying to tell us in secrets. They're trying to make this normal. So when we walk down the street and see one of these faces, we say, hey, it's just another person. No, these are a demon. Remember 2024 is going to unlock everything that was hidden. So all the time that we thought demons wasn't real, we about to see it. When we thought aliens wasn't real, we about to see it. It was a time where we needed our third eye to see these demons and spirits. Not no more because the solar eclipse is all connected to events like this. People don't want to believe we are in the end times. They never did their spiritual work. They never did their shadow work. They just went about their life like, hey, shit is just regular. All these events is connected to the solar eclipse. But people still say the solar eclipse is just another day. They are releasing demons from under the ground. These demons once lived under the planet, but now they're being pushed up to the surface. So we're about to be walking around, eating with them, watching games with them, doing everything with them. Shit, don't be surprised if they start making TikTok videos. The movie They Live came out in 1988. It tried to expose what was really happening behind the scenes. But people say, give me my popcorn, give me my hot dog. I just want to watch the movie. You missed what they was trying to tell you. But now nothing is hidden no more because everything that was hidden in the dark is coming to the light. The solar eclipse, dark and the light, and these demons are about to be seen with all of us. You can call them demons, jinns, fallen angels, interdimensional beings, whatever name you want to give them. 
Just remember, they don't like us. The human race is being slowly replaced with artificial intelligence and demons. We are being replaced at a fast pace, but people still don't want to see it yet. If you put your cell phones down and look up, you will see all kinds of strange events happening above our heads. People are seeing three full moons. Three full moons? Things like this is not normal. These are not humans. They are really demons. You have to do your spiritual work, your shadow work. You got to ground. You have to do all this kind of extra work because the world we are going into in 2024, we're going to need all the protection. For more info, Shadows of the Matrix Part 2. The link is in my bio. You know what these demon faces remind me of? It was a video by a guy named Tuv who made a video talking about a Chinese plastic surgeon and some of those people wind up looking like that I feel like when it comes to this whole demon face syndrome they try and like gaslight people and you saying that you're not seeing the things that you're seeing if a whole bunch of people saying they seeing it come on now I think that's just I think he what he's saying is true I think he's on to something because it just doesn't make sense that all of a sudden more and more people are starting to see these faces which look like something from a Japanese anime, which are usually demons in the Japanese anime, by the way. And people, they trying to gaslight people and saying, no, that's that's not true. The guys are seeing stuff. That's a normal face. <laughs> yeah, nobody has <laughs> eyes that go like all the way over here and their mouth go all the way over here. Come on now. I think if we just learn about it now, I think that the government probably already knew about it for the last 30 years. That's just my opinion. One thing I know is about the government, they always ahead of the civilians, obviously, because they keep so many secrets. These gods are not real gods that created anything in the universe. They are just advanced beings that look like us, that look like people, not green men with, whole, with, with antennas, okay? Not, green, not little green men with antennas, but people that put their pants on and dresses on just like we do. I'm talking about people, not the creator of the universe. We're talking about an advanced race that engaged us on this planet that masqueraded as gods because of their advanced knowledge and their technology. When they ran into less advanced uh, indigenous cultures, we deified them and said, oh, they must be gods. Look, at the, look what they got. They have magic, just like we do today. Many people today would bow down in a heartbeat if they saw a man flying down from the sky. The Jesus has returned. It's the second coming. They bow down and start sobbing instantly. Today, in the 21st century, they'll do that today. It happened back then as well. Nothing's new. Nothing's new under the sun. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, I can quote the Bible too. I can agree with uh, what he's saying about the aliens 
humans looking at them like they're gods. If you think about it, if you go back thousands of years, if somebody would have saw a parrot talking human, they would have thought it was magic or they would have thought that it was some type of deity. I could definitely see, especially if you look at Hindu Hinduism, a lot of their gods have like six arms, the blue, a lot of like they on spaceships when they come down. You know, that's no disrespect to uh, Hinduism, by the way. I always thought that religion was very fascinating for that. Y'all ready? Nikon P1000. Oh, look at that. And to think this is 450,000 miles away. Strange, huh? Look at that zoom, man. That's crazy. Huh? But I'm going to be going so many places, like to the Chicago skyline, all those places that I've seen these videos with these P1000s, P900s. And I'm going to do the same thing and recreate these videos for everybody. I've got my little sky track, my sky tracker coming in. This will be a lot, you know, more still and it'll actually track everything the way it's supposed to. So just wanted to show y'all, give y'all a little glimpse of it. See what we got. That camera is amazing, but I'm not sure if he's trying to hint at something because we have things called telescopes that can go really, really far in the space that can get really high definition images. I the fact that little camera is that powerful is pretty interesting to me. Justin had uploaded over a dozen pictures of babies onto his Instagram page with the hashtag yummy underneath. In the music video, you can see Justin eating at a table, enjoying food with a bunch of the elite or rich people. He's enjoying a sandwich until gross food starts coming out. Then he's no longer eating, but all the rich people at the table are still eating the gross food, still participating in the gross acts. And towards the end of the music video, you see a plate with a baby Justin Bieber on it and it says yummy. During the filming of the music video, Justin Bieber had a panic attack and had to stop filming for a while. And when asked by Ellen what yummy meant, this is what Justin had to say. What were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy? Uh, yeah, my sex life. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it, yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm married, you know? Yeah, so. so you got that yummy. That's what it is, you know? Yep, yummy. Uh, <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> you know, is it getting hot in here? We already know the industry have done Justin wrong. The more and more news coming out about the P. Diddy situation and i'm sure more news will come about him he's been through a lot of stuff from women you know touching him inappropriately when he was younger and you know them, them laughing thinking that that's normal there's nothing normal about that it's just weird like why are you touching a teenager and you're a grown woman to like i said the whole situation with p diddy and who knows what else um that he that haven't been exposed yet, that, that will be exposed this year i'm sure so i actually feel sorry for him and when i look back when i was younger i used to see him do some of the crazy things he was doing I kind of see why he was doing it now. All that trauma, he probably didn't know how to process it. This is the real reason why Kim Kardashian and her family are famous. There's a conspiracy that in the 1800s, an ancestor of the Kardashians sacrificed her soul to four witches so that all the women in her bloodline would always have fame, success, and beauty. But on the flip side, every man in their lives would suffer because of this. Kylie literally said it herself. Every male figure that comes and dates a Kardashian, their life kind of just goes downhill after that. Rob Kardashian going from model slash actor to having severe depression and not being able to leave his house. Scott Disick, a very successful businessman to struggling with alcoholism and depression. Lamar Odom, successful NBA player to dealing with addictions and overdoses. Travis Scott, one of the most successful artists in the world, has the most disastrous concert in the world, hasn't released an album in years and has many lawsuits against him. Bruce Jenner, who transitions to Caitlyn and gets ostracized by her whole community. And then we have Con Kanye, and I think we all know about Kanye. That Kardashian curse, man, that sounds really spot on. Do I think it's real? I don't know. It's a possibility. Some people work with magic as we see the famous people doing these satanic rituals and everything else. Who knows? But I do find it very fascinating that every single man, or at least the majority of them, wind up coming out much worse than what they were when before they dated them. I find that very fascinating. Is it just because 
those women are just so obsessed with like status and staying into the hottest tr trend that it drives a man crazy or is the curse like this video is saying? I'll let you guys uh, make that decision for your own. These two guys lost their little sister and four months later he found her in terrible conditions. <laughs> you already know me when i see these airy and scary type videos i just i don't all i don't automatically assume they're fake but i always find it weird that why is somebody recording the paranormal or well, this case is like a zombie or something. And if that's true, that's sad what happened to the person's sister. I hope uh, she made a, or a smooth recovery, but I, I still think that this video is just fake. A secret office of the CIA has collected at least nine non-human spacecraft from all over the world over the last 20 years. The Daily Mail also reporting of those nine spacecraft, one had crashed with considerable damage. The two others were completely intact. The retrieval mission was allegedly performed by the military, and then these spacecraft were handed off to private corporations. Whatever they are, they are not of human origin, nor do they, nor do they behave according to the laws of known physics. And yes, the U.S. government currently has physical evidence that they exist. That means wreckage of the craft as well as the bodies of the beings that flew them. Then something with the capabilities of traveling light years, not showing a heat signature, and the energy capabilities of that, that would put the Pentagon out of business. We wouldn't be fighting these worthless wars overseas over oil, and American boys and girls wouldn't be dying. It would put the war pigs out of business, and they'd have to go somewhere else, and I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Do I believe the government have multiple UAPs or UFOs? Of course, absolutely. I think what this video is saying is true. I, I think they might have had them longer, personally. Who knows what they're doing with them? Is that one of the reasons why United States always have like the top tier when it comes to weapons? Because maybe they reverse engineer these uh, crafts that they're getting and come up with new ideas or it's going to sound weird or maybe it's just uh, the aliens or non-humans as they call them nowadays are telling them how to build these things. We'll never know because they don't want us to know. This has to be one of the greatest UFO sightings ever recorded. Take a look at this. Wow. It's already happening, y'all. Make sure you watch out. What is going on? What is going on? Incredible UFO sighting spotted in Russia. Take a look at this. I mean, what could even cause this? This is yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this no, might be no, the no, best no. UFO sighting no. ever caught on camera. It's a UFO! Wait, it's a... Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's like every week we got new uh, sightings of a UFO. That looked at very, like... Kind of fake. But... Some of the other UAPs looked at fake like jellyfish one that was not. So I can't tell what's real and what's fake anymore, to be honest with you guys. When it comes to the UFO stuff anyway, it's like it's so crazy that I just be like, yeah, that's real. Anyway, going about your day, right?
The scientists say they could be on the path to discover the gravitational forces that hold our galaxy in place, and even, potentially, miniature black holes. What are you hoping to achieve here? Well, these collisions essentially are at very high energy, at the highest possible energy mankind has generated in particle physics collisions so far. And we hope to achieve conditions which must have existed very close to the beginning of our universe, namely after the Big Bang. When it comes to CERN, the only thing I have to say is some things are just best left alone. We don't need to know everything and we don't need to explore everything. I'm telling y'all, they always hide the truth in plain sight. Sure is. Make a deal with me, kid. You can have the car and everything that goes along with it. So what do you say? Two things. That's a Freemason sign ring. And, wait a minute, that's obviously the devil. This is really, really weird, but have you heard this? Like, there is a guy who has his dog's head grafted onto him. Oh, what's that? Look, so in 2013, Rodrigo Braga, a guy from Brazil, wanted to pay a special tribute to his beloved departed dog. Okay. So he decided to integrate the nose, ears, and other body parts of his dog into his project. <sighs> For several years, internet users believed this, but... Uh, it was later revealed to be an artistic elaboration done with Photoshop, right? Okay. Well, they were completely wrong. But before continuing, I wanted to warn you guys that more and more people have reported that their phones were being spied on by a blue radio app. This can appear on your phone at any time. To check that this does not happen, click on this icon, then on more. If you see it, delete it immediately. In truth, Rodrigo Braga produced an extremely realistic copy of his own face. He then used the remains of a real dog that had been recently euthanized to realize his artistic creation. So it is not a simple harmless photo montage since Rodrigo actually used the body of a small dog for this installation. The love he had for his dog must have been very intense to the point that he, had, he wanted to, to express himself artistically like that. It's very interesting. But I could see why somebody would think that would be Photoshop, because who's out here doing that? You know what it reminds me of? You guys ever see the show Man Beyond? You remember when um they were getting um tiger DNA and it just became a normal thing? Won't be surprised if the future humans do that too. It looks like we've got another alien on a plane, just like last summer when that lady was saying that MF is not real. This guy seems terrified though, and so does everyone else on the plane. Here's what apparently the alien looks like as well. Looks pretty creepy to me. But I thought it was interesting that everyone on this plane seems like they're freaking out that something is very wrong. It's not just some fight or whatever. This reminds me of a month ago at Miami Mall when people said they saw aliens, 10 foot tall creatures walking around, and that it was apparently because the veil for what has been secretly hiding around us all this time is starting to be revealed. And that's why people are seeing more of these UFOs and like crazy monstrous alien stuff, just like the lady on the plane last June and this last month. So perhaps there are actual creatures hiding among us. But what do you think? Is this fact or fiction? Well, that guy claimed that he saw it looked at it extremely disturbing. I can see why... Um... He was a terrified like that. I'd be terrified too if I was on a plane and I saw some unknown species on board and no one else is noticing but me. I, I drive me insane. When it comes to the Miami alien situation, it's it's just so much stuff that's happened this year. Around when I first started making videos, um, I always thought that was pretty fascinating too. 
Because what if it is just that night people were seeing into another dimension? Maybe it wasn't really there, but somehow maybe like I was saying, the veil was coming off and they were seeing like fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh dimension. I don't know. Like I said, we'll never know, but I always find things like this fascinating because most of the time people would just tell y'all, I know I was nothing going about your business. You dumb if you believe that. I mean, it's nothing wrong with thinking what if maybe it's true. What's wrong with thinking about that? Some people would just instantly just call you an idiot for that. I think that's crazy, personally. This is exactly what I'm talking about when they love to put the truth in plain sight. Check out this commercial. What are they trying to tell y'all? Crazy. Huh. I think we went too high. Right in your face. It's honestly how crazy how they throw this dome everywhere and people will still deny it. But y'all don't forget to like, follow me, and share this. Let's get this out to the people. And like always, God bless. Oh my God. Y'all see a pattern, and I know y'all see it too. It's like he just passing the torch, bruh. And this is why I say that. You can't tell me it's a coincidence. Runic and sacrifice equal the same thing. You just cannot tell me it's a coincidence. And you can't tell me it's a coincidence. All they names literally align with each other, bro. Even j -Vos. Oh yeah, and Funny Mike was a sacrifice at one point too, because as you've seen in the picture, they both was in a hospital bed. It's like they switched places and stuff. It was a ritual. But I promise you, bro, I do not do this for clout, bro. I do this for informational purposes only. I'm letting y'all see what I see, you feel me? All this energy harvesting stuff they be trying to do to us, man. I have to let y'all see what I see, bro. I have to. But, hey, you don't got to believe me, bro. You got your own mind. I got my own mind. You don't got to believe me. But it's in your face, though, bro. It's in your face. Do your homework. Oh, God. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think 99% of the people that become famous nowadays are just plants. That's just what I think. A lot of it is just structured so well. It's just hard for me to believe that a person got lucky or... They were just literally just a nobody and rose to fame like that. I always think of some type of hidden agenda. I hate to think like that, but that's just something that I just. You know. This rapper sold his soul in jail and became wildly famous when he got out. How did Here's next sex temptation become an overnight star when it looked like he was about to spend a lot of time in jail? Some say it had to do with this phone call he received while he was in jail and was given sacrifice ritual instructions. Now this phone call lasted about five minutes, so I'm just going to give you the key parts and try and tell you what it meant. Yes, I can hear you. See it. A.K. Goddess of Crossroads, Darkness, Witchcraft, Wisdom, and, and the Moon. Please come to me. Huh? Please come to me. Please. Please come to me. Please. Please. Hecate. Please come to me. Please, Hecate. Yeah. Please. Protect me and bring me freedom. Okay. Protect me and bring me freedom? Mm-hmm. Oh. Through this sacrifice. Bring me freedom through this. Through this sacrifice, okay? Um, treat me as if one of your own. Treat me as one of your own. I can bring forth my life. Yeah. Accept this sacrifice. This call is from the Miami Day Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. So it's F O M O T E I T B E. Yeah, unless she like messed it up. It looks like a T. What more evidence do you need that these rappers are selling their soul? That was a very interesting phone call. So molted B. I think that's what it said at the end. And the the god or goddess that he was talking to, maybe he was so desperate he was willing to do anything to get out of jail, and they used that against him for him to sell his soul. It's the only thing I could think of, regardless of highly disturbing. 
And uh, man, you definitely shouldn't be doing that no matter what scenario you're in. It is not going to be worth it in the long run. I'm a paramedic that's been trying to warn you for years now. So much so that I've seen every channel that I've tried to start just <laughs> get taken away. Our system is not on our side. You're going to see more and more of this. God bless. Have a look. Clears the ball. Did he pull something as he was carrying that ball? Let me. Oh, what's happening here? Doesn't look good. It just doesn't look. It just doesn't look good. Get the medical staff. The medical on. Get staff. them on. Prayers. In this sort of situations, I always call for prayer. I don't really watch sports like that, but I always thought sports were rigged. As much as professional wrestling nowadays, I thought everybody knew it was just rigged from the start. And the reason why I say I think it's rigged is because there's so much money involved. Mira eso, mira eso, mira. ¿Quién era? ¿Quién era eso? ¿Hay algo ahí? ¿Hay algo ahí? Míralo. Do you guys think mermaids are real? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I always thought that uh, mermaids could be real because there's so much fiction about it. This right here was one minute after the eclipse taken in Utica, New York. Nobody's talking about this right now. Look at this. But that video I just showed you guys was um, actually sent to me by one of my followers. They said that they live in Utica, New York, and that this video was posted by somebody, and I guess there's a buzz going around right now. They said that nobody's covering it. And this is obviously kind of weird because you have the sun here, and then you have, like, two different shades behind it. I'm not sure if this is some sort of reflection or illusion. I have seen a lot of videos on TikTok today of people recording the sky because they saw a lot of planes spraying these sea trails. A lot of people obviously became suspicious of this. So what if they were trying to, you know... I don't know. I don't know. Something seems kind of kind of fishy. But anyways, I don't think anything really major happened today. At least not what I've seen. I'm not sure what anybody else's experiences were today. This is like the weirdest thing I've seen today um, regarding the solar eclipse. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, what do you guys think this, this means? I mean, are they trying to hide something? I mean, do we have five moons? What's going on? Do we have more than one moon? What's going on, guys? Y'all let me know. That quality looks a little too good. Um, to my knowledge, when the solar eclipse was happening, you in the places that got the total darkness, they were able to see planets, mainly uh, Venus and Jupiter, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like small, bright lights in the sky. That didn't look like that. To me, that looked like, if it's real, that's crazy. But to me, I'm, I just think it looks just CGI, like somebody put that into the video. It doesn't look like it match up to me personally. I could go on and on about all the wonderful qualities about Miranda. But I know time permits, and I will consolidate it to just this one thing. In all the years- Z May Page wants to know- Z May Page. Yeah, if you could fill a pool- I would choose. With, Get out of here. Sorry. Wants to know if you could fill a pool with anything you like and swim in it, what would it be and why? Um, confetti, because it's a celebration in the pool. Okay, that makes no sense. Okay. Miranda. Pineapple juice. What? I didn't ask the question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I heard. 
I was thinking this whole time. Uh, okay, the question is, if you wanted me to hit you with a bottle of something, what would it be? Pineapple juice? Okay, here it comes. Yo, and now, you're gonna pay. Why would you? Why? Right before we shoot a scene, Dan! Snyder! No! Hi, cuteness! Hi! Hi, cuteness! Hey, hey you Don't weird! Say. Excited about the run through? Yes, I am. Really excited. Hi, who, who do you have here? Uh, what? Yeah, Sister oh, Maze. She uh, plays my girlfriend on the show. Oh, oh, it's it's, yeah. it's it's too bad I didn't cast a pretty girl to play oh, your girlfriend. Yeah. Oh. I want to say the video with the lady sleeping and the bed sheet just moving. It, lo it looked like it was like a a hook and a string pulling it, right? But then there's a part of me that's like, I don't know. Maybe this one's real because why would she grab her baby, you know, if she, if it was fake? Or maybe I hate this. Not I hope this is not the case that maybe somebody was playing a prank on her and she actually thought this was real. The three biggest secrets of NASA unveiled. Number three, the Vanguard program. In the late 1950s, NASA launched the Vanguard program in response to the space race with the USSR. The objective was to launch the first American satellite into orbit. However, the first trial was a spectacular failure, dubbed Flopnik by the media. The details of the failure were kept secret for years, fueling much speculation. Number two, the Apollo 1 incident. In 1967, during a routine test, an Apollo command cabin caught fire, killing the three astronauts on board. NASA quickly sealed off the incident and did not reveal the true cause of the fire until an internal investigation took place. This tragic incident is now used as a reminder of the importance of safety in space research. Number 1. The Mysterious Bengal Tiger During the Apollo 10 mission, astronauts reported hearing a strange noise, which they described as a roaring sound while passing over the dark side of the moon. They nicknamed it the Bengal Tiger. For years, NASA kept the secret about these transmissions, fueling conspiracy theories about extraterrestrial presence. It was only in 2008 that NASA revealed the noise was likely due to radio interference between the lunar module and the command module. Let's be real, NASA wouldn't tell us anyway, because we all know NASA keeps secrets. Who knows what NASA is really doing? You can't trust anything they say. I hate to say that, but from watching all these videos and just seeing different classified files and saying things on the internet uh, is really hard to trust anything.
I don't think this video is real for multiple reasons. The first is because why are you recording that this is happening? Second, if some paranormal stuff was really happening in your house, lights flickering and you don't know where it's coming from, things being moved around, wouldn't your first instinct would be to one, leave the room or leave the house and put yourself in a safe location and two, probably call the cops. I don't know why you would be recording it, but here's the crazy thing. She was recording before the situation happened. So it was just like common sense. You would call the cops and it'll say something going on in my house. Even if you, you think it's paranormal, it still would make sense for you to call the cops because the most dangerous thing in this world to me is another human, especially if you don't know what a human is doing, the type of mindset they have, if they have mental illness, et cetera, et cetera. So it could have just been somebody in the house. But the fact you said they're recording this and oh my goodness, I just don't think it's real. If you guys think it's real, let me know and tell me why I'm wrong. Chuck did not clear the bank. And so we sent the truck out to pick up the container. I rolled out there and uh, took the box up and uh, started pulling it up. And uh, it, it was so heavy, it, just, uh, it broke, uh, broke the winch. And we couldn't get it off the trailer, so we had to leave it on the trailer because it was too heavy. So I was asked by Nick to have a crew go down and unload the container at the other yard. I got a radio call that uh, from Ron Gillette, the foreman. They said the men were throwing up and there was something really wrong. One of them fell down and hit me right in front of my feet. And it was opened up, and there it was. And when I came to work the following day, I uh, I saw it myself. I couldn't believe it. And just, you know, just little bitty babies, you know, just all quarter pieces. My hands chopped off, arms, legs, you know, just, well, really just, you know, it makes you want to cry when you see something like that. Starting at the very front of this container, it was just wall clear to the ceiling and clear to the sides, filled with them. I really don't want to witness it again. Not, not what I saw. Well, as a supervisor for the county of Los Angeles, we found out through the through the media that 17,000 infants had been uh, stored in a container. That is highly disturbing, what they just described in, in the previous video. I'm actually pretty speechless. I, I don't really know what to say besides the fact that was very disturbing. Dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Getting ready to go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? What? Oh God! Fuck! Hey, Vente. Yeah, it's for Sam. I put him. I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you soon. Go. <laughs> okay, watch this. Everybody is talking about April 8th, but did you know NASA will be firing three rockets into the eclipse? This project is called Serpent Deity. This is from NASA.gov. NASA to launch sounding rockets into moon shadow during the solar eclipse. This is from Forbes. Why NASA will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse. But why is it called Serpent Deity? 
The serpent or snake is one of the oldest and most widespread mythical symbols. Serpent God is the name of this mission. Please tell me you have seen this symbol of NASA and the serpent. NASA in Hebrew literally means deceive. And watch this. In Genesis 3.13, And what is this that thou hast done? And the woman, Eve, said, The serpent beguiled me. What is that word beguiled? This is the Hebrew word H5377, or NASA, NASA, which means to beguile or deceive, but it gets better. Two Hebrew words before this is H5375, which is also NASA, NASA, which means lift up. Lift up to deceive. NASA literally means lift up to deceive. Oh, shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in.